afternoon, depending on when you watch this. How are you, friends? Oh, I just want to say again how much we at the preschool miss you all and seeing you in person. I know that you get, are Zooming with your classroom teachers and that you get to see chapel each week, but it's just not quite the same. I know it's not for us as your teachers, so we miss you, we love you, and we pray for you. Today, you might notice that I'm up a tree. Oh yes, I'm up a tree. Um, this is a tree in our yard, and I wanted to be up in this tree so we, I could tell you a really cool story from the Bible. You may remember that the Bible is God's word. It's true. And so I want to tell you another story about a friend of Jesus. Now, he didn't start off as a friend of Jesus because he didn't know how cool it was to be a friend of Jesus. So let me tell you his name. It's Zacchaeus. Can you say that with me? Let's try it. Zacchaeus. Now Zacchaeus was a little a bit of a shorter fella. He probably didn't play basketball, or if he did, he was one of those guys that could run really fast between your legs and shoot some balls from outside. But he was pretty short. But one day, Jesus, oh yes, Jesus was coming to his town. And there were so many people there. Have you ever been in a crowd, uh, maybe at a parade, and you can't really see, so you're jumping up and down so you can see what's going on? Or maybe your mom or your dad or your grandpa or somebody have put you up on their shoulders so you could see better. Well, Zacchaeus, for his job, he had a job that not pe people didn't like very much. He collected taxes. Now taxes are something that all of us have to pay. That's part of, of our lives and, and we don't really like it, but we do it. But back in Jesus' day, nobody liked a tax collector because tax collectors often cheated people. Yep, they would not just take taxes, but they would charge, they would take even more money from people. So nobody liked Zacchaeus. Nobody liked tax collectors. But Zacchaeus was a little bit curious when he heard that Jesus was coming to his town. So, there were so many people around and Jesus was coming along and Zacchaeus was jumping and he couldn't see anything. He just couldn't see anything. And so he decided he would climb up in a tree. And that's just what he did. He climbed up in a tree. A matter of fact, it was a sycamore tree. We have a lot of sycamore trees right here in Indiana. He climbed up in a sycamore tree because he wanted to see Jesus. So he climbed up in the tree thinking nobody would ever see him up there. But because Jesus always notices us, Jesus, when he was walking along, even though there were crowds of people there, Jesus looked up in the tree and he saw Zacchaeus. And he said, hmm, Zacchaeus. How in the world did Jesus know Zacchaeus' name? Well, because he's Jesus and he knows everything. He looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, I want you to come down from that tree because I'm going to go to your house. Can you imagine what Zacchaeus thought? He might have been looking around and going, are, are you talking to me? What? You're coming to my house? Nobody, nobody really likes me. I don't have any friends because I'm a tax collector. And you want to come to my house? Oh, Jesus said, oh yes, I want to come to your house. So that's exactly what happened. Zacchaeus jumped out of the tree and went right to his house and took Jesus with him. And guess what? Zacchaeus decided from that day on he would love Jesus and he would follow Jesus and he even gave back the money that he took from people that he wasn't supposed to. That's what happens when we say, oh, Jesus, I want to follow you. He helps us to make really, really good decisions. Jesus loved Zacchaeus. Jesus saw Zacchaeus. And he had a plan for his life, just like he has a plan for your life and your life and your life. And he wants us always to do the right thing. I have a song about Zacchaeus. And I'm going to sing it from up here in the tree first. Then I'll jump down or use the ladder and sing it again here in a little bit. So here's our song about Zacchaeus. Now, Zacchaeus wasn't really this big, but we're going to pretend like he was, okay? So it goes like this. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He 
he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. That's what Jesus did for us. Will you pray with me? And then we'll sing some more songs, all right? Let's fold our hands, let's close our eyes, and will you repeat after me, please? Here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you see us. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you want to be with us. Help us, Jesus, to follow you and to make great choices that will make you happy. We love you, Jesus. In your name, amen. Wonderful job, boys and girls. That is so awesome. I love how you pray, and I love that we can sing to Jesus and pray to Jesus even up in a tree. Well, I'm going to hop down, and then we're going to sing some more songs. So you be ready. Get all warmed up so we can sing some more. Ha, there we go. Down safe and sound. What did you think about the story of Zacchaeus? We're going to sing that song again here in just a minute, but I'm going to have my helper come in, our wonderful Landon, who has, was at the preschool for four years before he went on to kindergarten. So come on in, Landon. He knows so many of these songs, and he's going to be my helper today. So we're going to sing our song about Zacchaeus one more time. Remember how it goes, Landon? Here we go. You ready? Again, Zacchaeus wasn't really this small, but anyway, here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. For I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Very good. Thanks, Landon. Isn't it great to know that Jesus loves us? He sees us and he's got the best plan for us. All right, are you guys ready to sing about being in the Lord's army? Attention. Everybody ready? We want to be those good soldiers for the Lord. You ready? I may never march in the infantry, rat in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! I may never march in the infantry, rally the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly over the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir! Very good attention. Outstanding. Very, very nice. Okay, boys and girls, you remember last week when we, oh yeah, Eddie's. <laughs> Thank you. Do you remember last week when we heard our story about the foolish man who built his house on the sand and the wise man who built his house on the rock and how important it is to build our lives on Jesus because we can be strong and secure. Well, let's sing that song about the foolish man and the wise man. You ready? So we're going to start with the foolish man. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down, and the floods came up. <laughs> the rains came down, and the floods came up. The rains came down, and the floods came up. And the house on the sand went splat. Woo, but the 
wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came tumbling down. Oh, the rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. So what do we do? So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. Oh, the blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. The blessings come down as the prayers go up. So build your life on the Lord. Very good. Great job, Landon. Thanks. Ready for me five? Give me five. Not right now. We'll talk about it here in a little bit. Okay. Let's sing our song about being a fisher of men. How's that? Ready? Get our fishing poles. Remember, Jesus called Peter, Andrew, John, and James to be fishers of men. And he calls us to do the same thing. So let's tell people about Jesus. Ready? I will make you fishers of men. Real men. Fishers of men, fishers of men, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me, if you follow me, if you follow me. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Great job. Boy, oh boy, I think it'd be a great day to just go fishing, don't you, my sweet? I think it would. All right. Now, we know Jesus wants us to follow him. And we also know that he doesn't want us to be whiny and complainy. Sometimes we do that, don't we? I hope that we haven't gotten into that too much while we've been stuck at home. But we can all get there. I know we can. But Jesus wants to help us so that we can choose joy instead. So, let's not be like those whiny Israelites who followed Moses and they whined and complained. So let's just let ourselves whine and complain for just a little bit. You're ready to hum us longer. Well, I've got that kind of whiny face and the whiny sound in our voices. You ready? <laughs> Here we go. Now let's all go wah, real quick. Ready? Go. Wah. Okay. You all got it? Here we go. How much longer till we get there? Everybody would say, how much longer till we get there? Complaining all the way, complaining all the way. We've got sand in every pocket, blisters on our toes. Yikes! How much longer till we get there? Moses, we want to know. Yeah, yeah we, we all can whine. Everybody knows how to whine. Okay, whining done. Got it? Thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Whining done? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Let's sing about David. Remember, David was a small only a boy. Named David. That's right, only a boy named David. Because he was a shepherd boy when God first told him that he was going to be the king. And then he became a king. And yes, our neighbors are going by. And it's just great because we just wave and we have a good time. And I hope you do the same thing. And birds. And birds. That's right. <laughs> and chainsaws and leaf blowers and all those things. So <laughs> isn't that cool to hear God's creation with the birds singing? Because it's, it's almost like they're making, they're doing an orchestra to the Lord. They're making music just like we are. I love that. All right. Let's sing about David who became the king because God chose him. God helped him to defeat Goliath. Because David believed God and Goliath made fun of God. Here we go. David had a sling. Here we go. Let's do our do our shepherd boy. Ready? Here we go. Only a boy named David. Only a little sling. Only a boy named David. But he could pray and sing. Only a boy named David. Only a little brook. Only a boy named David. And five smooth stones.
hands he took. And one little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. One little stone went in the sling, and the sling went round and round. Get ready. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. What happened? And hit the giant in the head. And the giant came tumbling down all the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. I bet you were all the way to the ground, weren't you? All right, everyone, hop right back up because we're going to talk about no, no, no. I will not bow down to anyone but the Lord. No matter what people are trying to tell you to do, you might hear, oh, it's okay to take something that's not yours. Oh, no, no, no. You might hear, it's okay to make fun of somebody. Oh, no, no, no. You might hear someone say, it's okay to tell a lie to your parents. Oh, no, no, no. We want to choose to follow God. And that means that we have to stay in our hearts and choose on purpose to follow God and not bow down or say yes to anyone but Jesus. You ready? Ready, Landon? Up. Oh, through a shoe. It's okay. You don't need it for this song. Let's get our no, no, no fingers ready. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. I will not bow down to anyone but the Lord. No, no, no. I will not bow down. To anyone but the Lord. He's the one true God. He cares for me. He's the one true God. He sets me free. No, 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 I will not bow down to anyone but the Lord. I said, no, 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 I will not bow down to anyone but the Lord. Awesome job. Yes, I'll yes, say. yes. Great job. Yes, yes, yes. I said. Oh, I said. That's right. I said. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about wherever Jesus leads us, we're going to follow because he's the one true God. Wherever, wherever you lead me, you lead me with, I'm, I'm going to follow. follow. I'm, I'm trusting you, Lord God. God. You are good. Yes. Okay. You ready? You're already all set? Mm -hmm. Hands out of your pockets. Here we go. Wherever you lead me. Ready? Wherever, wherever you lead me. I'm gonna follow. I'm trusting you, God. You are good. Life will be crazy, wild and amazing. I'm trusting you, God. You are good. Let's say it one more time. You are good, everybody. You are good. Wonderful job, guys. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Great job. And for our three-year-olds, we've got a couple of songs just for you. Let's start with our wonderful song, My God is So What? Big. Big? I remember that. <laughs> How big is your God? My God is so what? Let me hear all of you. Ready? My God is so big. Oh, I think I heard that from here. My God is so big. Here we go. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Sing that again. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The oceans, the oceans are his mountains. The mountains are his stars. The stars are his handiwork too. How big is your God? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. Oh, that's wonderful. And that's true. There's nothing God cannot do. He's amazing. All right, let's sing one more song. Let's sing about how he, because he's so big, can help us to be strong and courageous. All right? And God tells us, he commands us to be strong and courageous. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. You ready for this one? Here we go. Let me get your hands here. This is God talking. Ready? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever, wherever, wherever you may go. Four hey's, you ready? Hey, 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 hey. A little faster, ready? Have I not?
not commanded you be strong and courageous? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever, wherever, wherever you may go. For Hayes again. Hey, 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 hey. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever, wherever, wherever you may go. For Hayes, ready? Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Oh, that was great, boys and girls. I hope you had fun with that. And guess what? When you learn that song, you have learned a Bible verse, and hopefully you'll remember that for the rest of your lives. Oh, it's been so great to be with you. So great to see you, even through video. And I can't wait to see you again next week for our chapel time. And we'll make sure that you get it in your homes, and you can watch it over and over again. You can share it with your family and teach them the songs, too. You can even be a teacher. All right, boys and girls know that you are loved. We love you. Jesus loves you. I pray for you and we're so grateful and thankful to Jesus for loving us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Air high fives. Bye. Air hugs. Air hugs. See ya. Bye. See you next time.